Welcome to the Badminton Europe podcast. My name is Rasmus Beck, and today with me, a medalist from the European Games 2019, Raoul Most. Welcome to you. Hi. Hi. Raoul, uh, one thing I will always remember is your celebration from uh, Minsk, Belarus, uh, from 2019 when you won the, uh, the medal at the European Games. Do you still remember it? Uh, yeah, I was quite happy. Yeah, I you were quite happy. I remember the feeling, yeah. but I was happy, yeah. Yeah. Is that still a thing you you sometimes look at your medal at home? Um, no, not so often. It's uh, well, it's time has passed and uh, there's new challenges and um, new goals. So you know, uh, it's every day is it has been quite a struggle actually after because of the COVID situation mm -hmm. and uh, uh, yeah, trying still to to play good and uh, it's not sometimes that easy. <laughs> so no. yeah. So yeah, but it it is extra motivation for sure that I know that I I can play is sometimes good and I hope hopefully I can do it mm. <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah. Raul, um, you said uh, every day brings new goals. Uh, what, what are the goals currently for you? Uh, yeah, I'm, you know, trying to qualify for the Olympics and uh, I feel like I'm really close to do that. And um, well, uh, today. Uh, there's a lot of points um, going out for, well, uh, for me, uh, which I, I didn't get, but also for some of the guys who are just behind me with, uh, with the Olympic points. Uh, so uh, I kind of hope that the other guy wins and not them. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but um, I feel like I'm quite close. Uh, I'm really close and, uh, and uh, the goal was and still is to qualify and of course, uh, after qualifi qualification, uh, I hope to play some really good games. Uh, not to, uh, yeah, not to uh, like um, how to say, uh, miss the chance uh, mm. with maybe some good wins. Mm. Raul, uh, I remember we spoke in in late '19, and uh, I kind of got the feeling that you also uh, considering retiring at, at at some point in in the in the near future. Of course, uh, COVID uh, changed a lot of plans for, for everyone. What have been the thoughts and considerations for you in, in terms of your, your future career uh, in the past 16 months where we had the COVID lockdown? Um, well, I had the idea that um, after Olympics, I, uh, I make a decision if I continue uh, one year, a few years more, but uh, obviously everything got postponed. Mm. And um, it was um, like the time w I knew that <clears throat> okay, I obviously I I can't like stop now, so I have to keep going, and uh, and uh, I'm happy that I did. Uh, but now uh, somehow, um, well, I also talked to other players, and they feel the same. That it's like um, you feel like you missed a year, mm. and uh, and so and um, well. I'm maybe ready to keep going, uh, to play more, and uh, and uh, you know the the other Olympics are is, is a little bit closer now, mm. so uh, so who knows? And uh, I have a support at home and to do that, and it's um, depends a lot on on me and uh, the willpower and also the the health. Mm. So yeah, we'll see. Let's take those two then. How's the health? Uh, I had some uh, actually some. Uh, uh, some uh, injuries. Um, uh, everything was going perfect up to January this year, and then I got sick uh, with uh, COVID, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, yeah, I was uh, I was struggling with that, uh, and um, after the somehow I was maybe going back to training is a bit too fast, but uh, I was. Uh, I, I got the injury also with my foot after straight away and um, I could have um, like really the first really tough training just before uh, Polish uh, challenge so uh, it hasn't been going so well and I'm I'm really missing a lot of uh, confidence and mm. uh, um, the physical in the in the game but I feel like uh, now it's uh, it's going in the right track and and it's uh, for me maybe it's a good setup here that I'm quite few like quite many days before the tournament uh, match here, so I have a chance to to really practice like twice a day and uh, rest well and um, 
being like really prepared. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's going better now. The podcast is recorded during the uh, European Championships in Kiev in, in the end of April 2021. It means that it's roughly four months since you, you got the COVID. How did it affect your, your life and, uh, and, and the way of, of actually being you? Uh, well, it was, um, uh, I was uh, just sick like uh, two weeks. Uh, so like I would say average, I was had a quite high fever for three, four days and then it just went over. But I, my family was sick and um, my little son was sick, one years old. So mm -hmm. uh, like fortunately everybody recovered and, um, but it was just mentally like quite, uh, quite difficult to, to handle and uh, you can't really, really call the doctor and you can't go anywhere. So uh, there were tough times and, um, and I was really looking uh, the COVID uh, situation uh, differently after. Um, yeah, and uh, well, after that, it's been, it's becoming better, but uh, obviously, um, I don't know if the if the uh, COVID affect my my performance, but uh, but uh, things were not going good after. Mm. Uh, so yeah, that's the way it was, but now hopefully, you know, hopefully it's getting better. Mm. Yeah. And you said the second thing that was in control of, of, of for how long it should go was the willingness. Uh, how is it looking on that side? It looks uh, really good now. Um, I had a break for a year uh, and uh, I kind of feel like uh, like just before um, the lockdown I was I didn't really want to go to tournaments. I was tired of traveling and everything and uh, well now I feel like I'm really looking forward to tournaments. So um, that's why I'm, I would like to train and like to travel and and uh, play uh, matches and uh, well to play good matches. So mm. so we'll see. Yeah, it gets. Uh, I I feel like it's improving towards the Olympics. Mm. Uh, so so um, I feel like uh, the match I got today against uh, Kemke was was exactly the the match I need to need to have now uh, mm. to to be be prepared and uh, maybe win a match in uh, in Tokyo so you know it's these these matches are are really helping me a mm. lot mm. you were sidelined because of covid for for a year but it also means that you had a lot of time with your newborn son um so it's not all bad i guess uh with, with the covid lockdown uh how has uh, becoming a dad changed your life uh yeah like you said there's um i was home and uh and uh, I was really enjoying it, and um, um, yeah, I think I'm really uh, lucky that uh, the family life has been really good. So, um, and uh, and with the lockdown, uh, also in Estonia, we there were times where we really had to be home for cup for really lo long periods, and uh, and uh, it, I if I rem go back now I feel like they were really happy times so that's that's a good thing um, but um, uh, yeah uh, being a dad has changed me that I just want to do things uh, like better like uh, there's no time to mess around so if I'm here in the in the tournament I'm going to training I was trying to do a good and good preparation for the game and uh, when I was younger it was maybe more like uh, like a little bit chill more and uh, not going full uh, full power with with every match or every training and uh, you feel like oh you have just so much time and it doesn't matter now i feel like uh, well you never know it might be my last one of the last matches so you better do it good mm. <laughs> so i think that's that's a good thing mm. and also leaving somebody behind uh, at home then you also need to put some put some value into to your travels yeah true so every day you are away you uh, you feel like uh, you, you you need to uh, do something you mm. need to mm. uh, yeah become a bit better mm. uh, player so yeah so mm. it's important yeah mm. Raul Most, I wish you all the best of luck uh, not only on court but also with your uh, new family uh, with a new family member thank you very much for stopping by thank you. and uh, good luck on qualifying for the Olympics thank you very much and thank you for watching the BC podcast <laughs>